The first concept that we are going to see about System B is starts. Remember that when the system boots, it starts the kernel. The kernel starts, starts System B as the first program. It makes some, some kind of, of initialization, and then System B tries to achieve a tries to to achieve a target. The target uh, is no more than a text file. That uh, that file specifies what is needed to be done to achieve that target. So, for example, if we need to start, I don't know, a, a network manager or a web server or whatever, in our target, it will be specified uh, so, some way. And uh, when the system starts, it uh, tries to achieve default target. This is not a real target. It's a scene link to the, to the target that we are going to, to achieve. We will see the, the most important targets in, in a moment. And this target, for example, imagine that we are trying to run multi-user target. The important thing here is that this target has some requirements. And those requirements, th those requirements are the things that need uh, that needs to be done for achieving that target. So for example, you can have some units. We will talk about units. A unit can, can be, for example, a service. So imagine that we, we need to, to run a, a network manager here or a web server or, or, or whatever that will be a, a unit. And another important thing here is that services can have another target as, dep as dependencies. So for example, for achieving multi-user target, we will need to run basic target. And for running basic target, we will need to launch sysinit target. And we, we have a, a, like a tree. So for example, this is the, the desired target. This desired target can have some units. Another, the, those units can have another units and dependencies, another targets and dependencies. So the system, the system B tries, tries to launch all this uh, in parallel as uh, parallelizing the, the execution of, of all this uh, when possible to achieve that, this target. So uh, this, this is more or less the concept of, of a target in, 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 system, in system B. So the, there are, we, we, sh we usually have a, a fixed amount of targets in, in a system. So for example, here, this, those are the most important targets. Um, there, are, there, there are other targets, we'll see this in a moment. But the graphical target launches, uh, launches all the things needed to start a graphical interface. Okay, so if we start with our default target is graphical target, we will uh, start with our graphical interface. It will be used, for example, for a workstation. If we start multi-user target, we won't have a graphical interface. It will be a text-based only interface. It won't need to launch some services that are required in a, in a graphic system. And usually, a graphical target requires multi-user target because, because we need all these plus the things needed for the graphical interface. We also have a rescue target in, in case we have a problem with our system uh, it will launch the minimum uh, things needed for running the system, no network. I, I, I don't know, it's a very, very basic system. And we have also an emergency, emergency target that is uh, less services. If, if we can't launch a rescue target, maybe we can launch an emergency, emergency target. But those are, th those are used by system administrator, administrators. We won't be using this. So we have graphical target, multi-user target, and we also have another target, another special target like power off target for for uh, shutting down the system, alt target, reboot target, and whatever. So the to to see the targets in the system, we can we can use this this command. For example, we can start using system CDL. We can have list unit files. And type target. Okay, you you can see here there are lots of targets. We will see uh, the, the, the what this means in a moment. But for example, we can, we have here the the default target, 
this is an alias to the real target we are we are we will be launching we will be launching we have graphical target we have the multi user target here and the rest of the targets most of them are intermediate targets to remember for example multi use target maybe it required uh, i don't know this target or this other target and those are long, uh, those targets are launching things that will be needed when we start a system in multi-use target, okay? And uh, to to check for the dependencies, we can see that we can launch this command. This command, these dependencies, and it shows uh, the th the tree I was talking about. For example, default target. This is the the, the target that we are running in this case is graphical target launches all these and it also launches multi-user target multi-user target launches all these and it forms a tree we have a lot of things that are needed here the basic target path target slice target those are the, the intermediate target and all this is defined through the the targets in in system b we are not creating targets, but uh, it's important for you to know what is a target and what is happening when, when the system boots. We can we can also have here, we have a, there is a web here from the manual of system D that explains a little bit more what is happening when the, uh, the system starts, okay, to, to graphical target, the dependencies between targets, but we are not seeing system B at this level. So the important thing is that you remember that we have targets. A target uh, represents a required stat state of the system and that we can have uh, dependencies. So a target can depend for another target and so the other targets will be launched before we can uh, achieve the, the desired target. 